Benedict Tosu is a Wednesday morning here on AM Show. We talk some sports and from the local scene to the international scene, we'll do football and also we'll do tennis. The Roland Garros is on uh, and the Mary through to the next stage as well as Novak Djokovic. So we'll touch base and find out what's been happening in the French Open. But here on the local scene, a power heart folk board member Frank Nelson admits the imminent closure of the Accra Stadium for Innovation Works will affect the club. Now, you then Sports Minister Ezek Isiyama has reaffirmed his position to close down the Accra Stadium for major refurbishment to begin next month. Now, what this means is Hearts must look for a new home venue for their games in the league as well as the FA Cup. Now, Frank Nelson tells us playing away from home should uh, the stadium will be closed down in the coming days will affect the club. Well, uh, I think we have heard the news. Uh, practically, I think I was at the swag award ceremony where the minister made the statement and it became an approved statement uh, yes that's where we honor our home matches uh, for us it's going to be, bring a little bit of problem but the only good thing about it is that if you must have understood the uh, minister he said that it will be done in phases so we are waiting to see how the face will be to see how it will affect our team but for now the minister has not come out to say that it's going to be tomorrow now, though they said june june is two days uh, ahead of us so we are waiting to see how they are going to face it and see the next step for us to take as a club definitely will affect that because if the Accra stadium is uh, closed down uh, the options open for us are very limited in terms of where we're going to play there's no stadium here in Accra. that Ukusu will be a home match people are talking about going to can read stuff that's not a stadium we will always uh, pack with across the focus use. Uh, it has happened to us before and uh, we saw ourselves playing maybe places like Cape Coast and every other thing. So, but let's get to that stage. When we get to that stage, I believe we'll be able to find a solution to that. For now, we don't have our own park where we could say that we are going back to our own ground to be and play. So, and by the standard of the, I mean, the league, we cannot play in any park. So, it must be ones that are, those has been accredited and then they have been accepted. So, that's what we are going to look for. But I'm sure that we'll resolve that issue. It's not going to be a, a very big issue. I'm sure the minister will consider the league that is ongoing and then before any other issues are taken into consideration. So that was Frank Nelson, the board member of Accra and Heart of Folk. And yesterday, we were speaking to him at the Kotoka International Airport. He was part of the dignitaries that went to the airport to welcome the Black Star Let's Say team uh, as they, you know, played at this year's African and 17 Championship. It was a wonderful competition uh, for them. Their first two games, they won uh, by nine goals. The first one was against Cameroon, which they won four and also defeated Gabon after they did not score any goal, but eventually got to the finals, only uh, lost the finals to Mali by a goal to know. Yesterday, they arrived in a country that was where we spoke to Frank Nelson. My colleague, Asai Bidiakum, was also there. Let's come through with this report. <laughs> The Black Starless of Ghana touched down at the Kotoka International Airport at 1 p.m. on Tuesday. Coach Parkwisi Fabian's charges were looking to win the title in the just-ended 2017 Cup and the 17 Championship, but they suffered a painful 1-0 defeat to eventual winners Mali. GFA President Chrissy Nyantichi, who was at the Kotoka International Airport to welcome the team, praised the Black Starless despite their failure to clinch the title in Gabon. We are very, very happy with your achievement. We are very proud of you. Don't think that because we didn't win gold, we are unhappy or we are dissatisfied with your performance. We are very, very happy. This is the first time in 10 years that we played at this level. And, and so this is a big testimony of the level of development of football, especially youth football in our country. And we are very, very proud of you. So hold your hairs up and count yourselves as very proud Ghanaians who have done this nation a great honor, who have done this nation a great privilege and a big sense of, or a, a great sense of pride. Deputy Sports Minister Pius Hajede, who was also at the Kotoka International Airport to welcome the Black Starless, urged coach Parkwisi Fabian's team to forget the 2017 Cup Under-17 Championship and focus on the FIFA Under-17 World Cup. Like His Excellency the President has said, uh, we can now learn lessons from the past, leave it behind us, and forge ahead for the task ahead of us. Uh, like we promised, there was an opportunity for our young stars, Team Fresh, as they like to call themselves, okay. uh, to 
uh, be recorded uh, in the annals of history as being the first youngsters who would have been admitted to the National Sports Hall of Fame that is about opening at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. But that opportunity is not lost. There is yet uh, another major exercise ahead of us, that is the World Cup. That even offers us a bigger platform for you to market yourselves and for you to market your country. We are confident that we are going to uh, improve uh, on ourselves and that going forward, we shall continue to do ourselves and our nations proud. Management committee member of the Black Starless, Abdul Salam Yakubu, believes Ghana will make huge impact at the FIFA Under 17 World Cup if only Coach Park Fabian keeps the current squad. We have to support the team, we group this team, we manage this team well. That's why we, 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 we try to um, uh, protect the players, not been talking to the, the agencies so that maybe um, some of the players will start traveling and then so we have to keep all these players if we keep this player for the World Cup, i think it will help us and then from from the under 17 we'll promote them to under 20 to the metros and then uh, blaster ghana will participate in this year's fifa under 17 world cup the tournament will be played in india in october